Black History Month is coming to a close. All month we've been highlighting inspiring stories, and there's a story from the world of college sports you might not know about. Tonight, our Jamie Edmonds shows us how Michigan State football really changed the game. College football today is very different than the college football of the 1960s. In the South, uh, you know, black players couldn't couldn't play the game at this level. They weren't allowed in the stadiums. They weren't allowed on campus. Which meant in the segregated South, really good athletes were denied playing in their home states. The schools that are dominating on the national scene now, uh, those schools were closed to players like my dad. That's Maya Washington. Her dad is Eugene Washington, a man who grew up in Texas, went to a segregated high school, and was recruited by Michigan State head coach Duffy Doherty. This opportunity to leave segregation, it was a world that was very different. Those were things that weren't available to my parents and grandparents' generation during segregation in the South. So how did Duffy find Gene Washington, Bubba Smith, Jimmy Ray, and others? It started with MSU President John Hanna, who was also on the Commission for Civil Rights. With his blessing, Doherty created a network and recruited in the South, something no other coach at the time was doing. It wasn't happening anywhere else in the country uh, between uh, 1963 and 1966. And that is really the peak time that uh, Duffy Doherty's recruitment pipeline really hit its stride. In 1966, there were an unprecedented 20 black players on MSU's roster. That year, the number two ranked Spartans played top ranked Notre Dame for a national championship. 33 million viewers watched. Seeing black athletes in the game of the century was a game changer. MSU went on to win its second consecutive national championship. Sparked uh, across the country, you know, the, the wide, the wide fact that um, you better do this or else, you know, you're going to get beat every single year. Darian Harris is a former Spartan linebacker who is now the director of player engagement. He says MSU's history in the integration of college football is shared talked about and passed on. It's something Coach Tucker is big on internally and also externally. We want to make sure that we're telling the stories and telling the history year round. And it's not just the 28, 29 days of February. It's 365 days of the year. Washington wrote a book and a documentary on her dad and his teammates called Through the Banks of the Red Cedar. Those 20 brave athletes proved they could compete, and thankfully, they were given that opportunity at Michigan State. It was big in that time, but how you can actually make a difference, how being more inclusive can not just change your own fate, but it can change the fate of others and also change what's possible for future generations. Duffy's recruits turned into multiple All-Americans, and in the 1967 NFL Draft, MSU had picks one, two, five, and eight. Gene Washington was that eighth pick, and he went on to have a storied career with the Minnesota Vikings. Jamie Edmonds, Local 4. So impressive. Thank you, Jamie. We do encourage you to check out all of our coverage of Black History Month, including the Detroit group working to make skiing accessible to everybody. You can find a link to our special section right under the Features tab.